Namaste. Blessings to all of you. Thank you, Guruji. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Guruji. Yeah, welcome. How did it go? Fifteen sessions. Could you? Yes, um, I was able to do the fifteen sessions, Guruji. But uh, the challenging mm. part is uh, mm. uh, keeping that uh, keeping that gaze watcherless, like gaze. that mm. is still challenging for me ah uh, first of all 
if you utter the word challenge <laughs> <laughs> there must be a center in you which challenges each and everything that is passing on you, right? Yes, yes, yes. First, you take yourself, the observer, to be the challenge, challenged one by the object in front of you. Is yeah. it? Yes. Uh, how could it be? See, <laughs> it's the play. It is the divine play. It's absolutely the divine play. See, normally, normally, a thought is a challenge one imposes upon himself. Mm. It challenges the very existence of you. Right. When, a, when a thought arises in you, you have completely identified with it. That's why it has arisen. Mm. A part of you, or a part or full or we cannot uh, give proportions to it. Mm. You got entangled. Without you involving yourself in that uh, fleeting untruth, unreal thought movement, it cannot arise. That's why it arises throughout our waking state and dream state with visuals also. And we are mesmerized in its flow. We move along with that emotion. We move along with that thought. We want that part of the world to be true or to avoid it. If it is a problematic one or an inconvenient one, uncomfortable one, a sorrowful one, one wants to avoid it. Whether, whether sorrow or happy, mm -hmm. be it any kind of thought, that individual out of his unconsciousness or out of ignorance, he goes on challenging throughout waking state as well as in dream state. Dream state unavoidable. It imposes, the dreams imposes, it imposes upon itself because it is thrusted. You cannot, uh, you cannot uh, choose a dream. You cannot choose to be a nice dream or uh, not to entertain a troublesome bad dream. You just can't do it because that you within you during dream is lost in dream. He is dreaming under dream. He is the dreamer. He is dreaming. He is the dreamt one. The dreamt visuals as well as emotions and everything. Everything was untrue. Everything was true at that moment. What is the truth when dream happens in us? What is the kind of Truth, I say, when I say dream was true at, the, at those moments, what do I mean by saying it true? I mean, it's a challenge. It's challenge on the dreamer because he's not left with any choices to do inquiry upon it. But here, you have abundant time in the same mind in the same person who lives as that person through his thoughts here during one's waking state. He can immediately see if you have that kind of guidance by a realized one. I am giving you already. I am often saying this word realist which says I am the realist. I have realized. It's not that I have realized gives a past tense, a sense of past tense. No. I have realized, I am realizing, I will be realizing. That realizing in that the, the letter also is not S-I-N-G, is a I N G. Mm -hmm. If you deposit a check in your bank, it will come with a narration. It will appear against your transaction with a narration. The proceeds are realized with S-E-D. Right? You would have seen, noticed. You get this point? R-E-A-L-I-S-E-D. The process of the check or the demand draft. Yes. Is realized. R-E-A-L-I-S-E-D. Whereas, what do we mean by saying R-E-A-L-I-S-E-D-T-I-O-N? Realization. Realization means you are all your objects, that is the challenges or the challenged thought patterns, or the way of challenging each and every moment in the form of thinking, 
when it checks upon itself when it tries to even guess when it tries even to guess at the moment of even trying it all these three vanish you cannot call it as subject or object that that place the place where nothing exists you just can't give a statement to it there won't be any person at all to give a statement to it because just then a while ago you you saw it so closely intensely and they all vanished another entity would not have arisen in you to look at that place you would have been that place if you have that passion patient not to challenge through a thought not to employ a thought not to seek the help of a thought just be just be just be. that's why we call it as just be yeah you immediately continue to continue i i don't mean continue you you yourself as something entity continues it the the hollow place the empty bare attention itself it's not even attention because there is there was none to deploy attention there is no one to deploy any attention there you look at you gaze at that that's all Not, nothing nothing seems to exist but seemingly nothing existing there is something like a witness that looks at that emptiness also empty existence also within you didn't you realize this yes yes that is what you also meant by saying uh, it is a challenging task like that that's why right. that's uh, yeah why it has become a challenge to you is you have been all the way you were you have not taken it playfully correct you wanted to deal with it you wanted to bring an end to your continuing of thoughts you wanted to there was a motive in the seer within you to end all the thoughts and look at that place mm-hmm. again he is the person who produces the thoughts the seer in you seer cannot separate himself at all from the scene that means thinker cannot separate himself at all from the thought they both are one when is this happens all these thoughts together with the individuality is whatever that that is prompted to think all these thoughts are determine how to take your life in a moment all these orientations motives purposes all that all those things which are done by that center also is attracted towards a centerless center that is the deep sleep state that centerless center already is our absolute state that state is nothing other than absolute unconditional pure love here in the waking state we attribute the same word to love same word love to so many aspects of it interpersonal relationship marital status or even love love relationships we call human love a girl loving a boy a boy loving a girl or a man wife or lover or woman loving the man and all the living beings living organisms they are prompted always by this unavoidable inner urge thrust that is what in tamil nadu they had used this word ulkada ulkada in that sense when they transcended what they what did they find they found that in the shiva have you been to shiva's temple yes sir ji you 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 would have you would have seen thousands of shiva lingas it is always in the they depict the constant union of shiva and shakti in the shivalinga itself constant union that means the creation 
happens out of that each moment you are feeling your emotion your thought your buildings your australia this place that place all over the cosmos the space time everything arises in their dance in their dance of union the same thing happens when one is asleep the same shiva shakti swarupa he is dancing during that state without any division it is the highest state of non duality non dual existence non non duality is bliss sublime absolute bliss absolute love in tamil also they use the word shiva shakti there is nothing called as shakti different as a female gender and a male gender not like that masculinity femininity no 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 not at all they are they are one one love of one love only there is only one love when you have dissolved in sleep there are no marks symbols words sounds left over in you as well as in the cosmos the cosmos comes to a stand still through your thoughts thinking mind that's why no objectivity no observer no challenges no ego all challenges are already embedded in the ego as egoistic i feeling calling it as i am and with all the subordinate conjugations from the second conjugation of the first person pronoun i me by me with me for me because of me mine my in me on me all these conjugations they start from second to sixth in english and the first one is i am and they are not different they are not two groups at all but the first identification arises with your own body when you wake up you don't even get thoughts you first simply just sitting or just lying over this side and that side you are not your thoughts have not it woken up or the intellect has not coming to function to become someone but immediate identification is with your physical body as that person not even the gender as that person the same thing happens uh, in small kids they exist as that bodily feeling alone they don't have gender they don't have identity up to the age of 7 uh, or 8 even 9 sometimes they don't have any distinction between a girl and a boy child they mingle so easily their plane of talk and blabber and what not their playfulness are all beautifully mixing without any differences isn't it so you yeah. find this yeah yes so yes by and by and by by and by whatever that was carried on through the cell memory of that body cell memory is also in the mind because mind only carries all the memory and cells get all those informations that are embedded in the mind just like when you attach the hard disk immediately it springs into action you know the data the pop the, the pop up shows that this hard disk is attached sometimes even it lists all the files folders inside of that hard disk is it in the same way the the hard disk whatever it has contained is about to spring up within you after a while the pure moments in those pure moments i want you to it is a beautiful moment of simply you are immersed you you have that body has woken up not even that body sensation some other center just like the kid how they are mingling without any identification with their body at all if two one and a half years old kid or two years old kid they are on allowed to play with them they will be touching doing this and that without any identification as myself and yourself nothing like that isn't it 
in the same yes. way we also in the same way we also wake up in the early morning mm. so that time is the best moment just to just to be just to be there's a pure state of absolute unconditional unconditional pure love that gives enormous strength because it is purity itself and it is a it is a vastu it is an object see the cosmos not as an object it is immersed in the subject of deep sleep without separation it is already in deep sleep state what we undergo as our waking state is a different layers of sleep of the deep sleep state we are not at work or not ident identifications have arisen but those identifications are mistaken identifications of ego ego is nothing but the body identification mainly the physical body identification that immediately barges in to any of the feeling or sentiments or emotion that passes within and names that feeling with different branded name and emotions or visuals within it and they again and again perpetuate in perpetuate creating various thoughts in your mind again and again and again we take ourselves to be the thinker in the body and thinking in the mind it starts it is not the case the body cannot think this we have been repeating again and again is your body as poor remote does it think is your body as why they get does it think your thoughts can it think at all no it's not oh it takes a ego takes charge of everything your body your identifications with your uh, physical world as your relationships your money your your knowledge your country or whatever whatever attachments everything is an attachment attachment without attachment the i cannot function and for its functioning it has created a extension called as mind it has created an extension within it it specifically specializes in categorizing so many things that function is called as intellect and broadly all the thoughts converging there all the rivers confluent at one place in the ocean no the same way many thoughts but it handles beautifully this personalities these individual individualities so again and again one being actually there is no being at all there is no separate being as a physical body at all physical body is not doing these things but we are ransacked 24 by 7 24 7 by these instruments that is what they had said please cancel just cross it how yes. be just be yes. don't throw any challenge don't be challenged <laughs> to ne- never distinguish who is the observer and who is the observed just be okay because you shouldn't employ any method at all because the employer <laughs> employer of that method is again yeah, a, a, a thinker which there is no such thinker at all in our body nor in the car can i ask yeah. one more question yeah 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 certainly just on that very thought um but why is it so complex to 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 be to realize the the deep sleep state if you take it as a, an object the deep sleep state as an object from you the achiever mm. or one who wants to achieve it the moment you bring an achiever or an attainer in you through that gaze to realize mm. to realize is no, no, no other than purnima right yes who wants to realize deep sleep state in you is the it is not the body it is certainly not the body right can can such a state exist even in your thoughts 
because those thoughts are not that exact that state correct because if so even if, thinking if thought, about that deep ah if you are even thinking think, about hmm. even thinking about going uh, trying to achieve the deep sleep state is also a thought in itself thought in itself and it 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 disturbs because it That's is right. not the uh, it is not the way so on the contrary just still the thought the thinker how to just look at who the thinker in you is okay even you can watch eyes closed within your body and look at that uh, purnima or vedhi within you and look at is this is this purnima is this vedhi the thinker because the thought will not respond to you it will go vague and vanish you will immediately land up in silence it's, it's really is that thing it's replaced yeah. yes. but you cannot trust it you just can't trust it yes yeah uh, because yeah. i think we are immediately back to the thought world again we have started like contemplating doubting and questions come back again yeah see, the, the, see yeah. that is how the mind has conditioned our existence here that is mind in the sense thoughts and feelings and separate centers individuality i time space past tense present tense future tense karma all these things but the path is you cannot even call it as easy it is the only thing available for the realist mm-hmm. you get this yes just just take for example you are uh, second son how old is he purnima he was 5 years old the second one Vivan is uh, 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 the little one uh, tanvi she is uh, 11 months old 11 months old yes not even it uh, started talking even walking no okay. yes he must be sitting or crawling huh? crawling and sitting yes uh, crawling and sitting but what is his state his state is this what you are trying to achieve is already in that state unknowingly ignorantly that mm-hmm. unknowingly is called as ignorance you have to be like tanvi okay <laughs> now now you should not take yourself as a grown person i am the mother of so so <laughs> yes. okay yes. simply yes. simply because that is that is founded on oh, your so to be that way <laughs> so easy it's yeah. so easy so it easy is. it is easier than this even because deep sleep itself yeah it doesn't have a form even he also goes to sleep you also go to sleep everyone goes to sleep so there is none there is no thought there is no word not thing to do to become already achieved state that's why if you bring in purnima if you bring in vaidhi if you bring in even tanvi yeah fortunately he is not at grown so he is already in the state he is a yes, moving he is a alive example for you yeah but knowingly 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 in the sense what is it you know pretty well what to know here you should know no you should only know the futility of your thoughts futility mm-hmm. hollowness mm-hmm. are they are they worth to challenge your existence that is the existence of dictionary are they worth to seek that existence are they worth enough no, no. not at all see your thought arises from that stillness and silence of deep sleep pure love but that is arisen just cannot do anything at all about that which has given birth to it it would be like tanvi when he grows up and asks mummy and daddy where was i at the time of your marriage seeing your marriage with you why didn't you take to your marriage myself <laughs> this no answer to that <laughs> that is that is really the state of surupa that is the right. state of 
That's all. Easy. So easy. We will go to the next eighth technique. Eh? The same yes. is the technique. We will go to that. And you do it in the process of the process. Sure. See, all these are all fast seven techniques hmm? I had given. We need not waste time on that because you are all pretty familiar. How did I take these things? All the five koshas, all these things. This was our sixth. This was the sixth one. Then came the seventh one. So truly, which as our life makes our day-to-day -day living, and what is that life? Actually, nothing else other than the deep sleep state. Deep sleep state is vitiated, and you become an individual because of the identification with your physical body, and you come to. Or be alive through, through so many thoughts and emotions and so many things. So this is not our real life. So which is which is our real life actually is the deep sleep state. That was that is the real life principle. Okay. Now we go to to the next one. Uh, now comes the eighth technique that is the the kada wood the inner transcendent scientific technique eight uh, please read our uh, deep sleep state is nothing other than absolute unconditional pure love just being within half an hour twice a day in the morning and before bedtime takes one to that source love and it gives immense strength to the egoistic i feeling to face the turbulence of the daily chores and to attain all prosperities in material life also if one gets strength because all thoughts are all vitiated ignorance they they haven't one has not seen through what is the source of a thought had one seen it he would have immediately found that he was nothing other than the deep sleep state pure love this is at the very very fringe you can see it immediately as you close your eyes whatever that silence of stillness is nothing but pure love pure love and this your thoughts are not releasing that your silence has to silence as a witness without the sound movements of thoughts that has to reveal it within you as well as it is stillness also there won't be any movement you just can't expect any movement you won't feel your body even if it is a nano trillionth of a second you won't feel your physical body all the more there won't be any thoughts stillness 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 unruffled and silent also our deep sleep state is nothing other than, other than absolute uncondi unconditional pure love just being half an hour twice a day in the morning and before bed then takes one to that source of that source love and it gives immense strength who gets that strength see we are all all day long we feel tired thinking 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 isn't it right yes yes all day long thoughts torment one that's why i have given unconditional thoughts are all conditional entities when it attaches with the physical body and says i need this now that now conditions one i want this now i should get rid of this now itself i don't want this don't shout at me don't yell at me don't misunderstand me this are all the yearning of humanity no don't yes. show me love show me love show me affection mm. why should we beg here like this because we have not known where from this thought arises where from this yearning for love or affection or craving for love arises now this is the place 
it's nothing but our very source itself is the love that source love and it gives immense strength because what is that strength the strength of not a thought the strength of not a challenger challenging with thoughts again nothing else not knowing the challenger is also a thought we go we go on challenge everything and anything no yes so it gives immense strength to the egoistic i feeling to to face the turbulence of the daily because the the, the everything objective world and relationships they have all are undergoing or they are all living in a conditional way of living without iota of love iota iota of forget forgiveness they will behave in a cutthroat manner when arguments erupt we just can't tolerate those words at all the ears will be bleeding the heart will be bleeding no these are all conditional moments of consciousness encased in physical bodies of human beings so we need not go elsewhere at all just sit at least minimum half an hour morning and before bed time tolerate in the beginning you will have to tolerate because you were that passing thoughts you are that person you are those yes. challenges you had challenge that's why it has been coming to you wait wait for a while be assured i am here with you okay okay and look within big look within yourself just just gently playfully not to arrive at a predestined destination predestined state nothing of that sort be empty sure. go empty go empty be empty that's all just to start doing it i will ask you to open your eyes and then you can immediately that's all. very slowly and gently warm up your face and then place your palms on your eyes both the palms on the eyes open the eyes within and then open it is not something to be searched the essential nature of the self is just like deep sleep but deep sleep is an example from deep sleep without separation from it waking and dreams dream states are us without plunging into this still and silent sleep to deep sleep state one cannot do anything here at all one just can't uh, during his waking state remove the fear of a kid because unless one face to face has realized that he is not this fear is a frightening thought patterns or emotions or the world or the attachments which frightens him he cannot be sure enough to guide anyone at all spirituality if it is spirit it should give him and strength yes it should be strength embodiment and what is the what is the foundation of strength nothing but pure love pure love pure love no ifs and buts no any sort of a thought it's a so it's so simple you can you can keep doing it throughout the day whenever you find time all the more minimum two sittings in the morning and before bed for longer duration don't restrict yourself if you are free if one something or someone takes care of your kids you can do it for more than half an hour we will meet in our ninth technique okay next week thank you guru thank, thank you for your time blessings blessings, blessings.